Real thing to look at here. Look at the youth of I know Doug, but he has a ton of experience going against the 30-year-old Zach Zane. With the official introductions, here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Aloha. Bellator MMA tonight from Blaisdell here in Honolulu, Hawaii gets underway now with three five-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing the blue corner first at 5 foot 10, weighing in 155.9 pounds. His professional record, 13 wins, 9 losses, fighting out of Wailuku, Maui, Hawaii, presenting God's warrior, Zach Zane. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at 6 foot 1, weighing in 155.7 pounds. As a professional, he's undefeated, three victories, no defeats, fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, introducing Manola, the baby faced assassin. Dumb. In charge of the action, your referee, Mike Beltran. Referee Mike Beltran getting set to oversee this lightweight contest. Two of the top fighters in Hawaii battling for more than just bragging rights. Right, the gentlemen. opportunity First to round. set the, the pace Good for fight. tonight's Hell, event. And the bell in round one, Nainoa Dong undefeated in the red gloves. Zach Zane in the blue gloves. And as John alluded to earlier, Zane loves to do things well outside of the traditional box, as it were. Wants to make things very unorthodox, very unpredictable. But if there's one thing we know about Dung, is he does not get swallowed up in the moment, although he just got swallowed up in that takedown by Zane. Beautiful attack by Zach Zane and taking that note to the ground. That is impressive that he's using that ability of fight IQ. You have all these fights. Well, let's get smart in how we approach our opponent knowing that Dunn is so good on his feet. Zane has nine victories via first round knockout or submission. One KO, eight subs, and immediately putting the pressure on Dung. Zane, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt. He expects this fight not to go to the judges' scorecards and a, a good start for the fighter who just turned 30 one week ago. Turned 30 one week ago. He's got a lot of experience. And I, I've been in the cage with him, and I will tell you, at moments, you look and you go, this guy can beat anyone. And then all of a sudden, he'll do something and put himself in a bad position. You go, what were you thinking? But it is what makes him so exciting. And what does Dung have to be thinking here, John? Well, I kind of like what I'm seeing out of knowing he's being very calm, very relaxed. You see, he has not closed his guard at all. He is looking to, I can go towards the submission here. I can just feel what's going on. I can try to push him off. I am just relaxing in this position right now and trying not to absorb any type of damage. And Dung showing the maturity that belies his age of 20. Left high school at 16 to go to Jackson Winkle John in Albuquerque, one of the highly respected gyms in the sport. Following in the uh, footsteps of uh, a guy who's known to the Hawaiian fans, someone by the name of BJ Penn. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I know he's been training out of Hard Knocks 365. Looked at where he was at here in Hawaii and said, you know what, I need to step up. I need to get where I am working with guys that are world champions. I need to see what they're doing. I need to be at their level. Under the auspices of noted striking coach Henry Hooft, and yeah, what a murderer's row of training partners at uh, Hard Knocks 365, including former UFC welterweight champion Robbie Lawler, the current champ Kamaru Usman, as well as the likes of Michael Johnson, and of course, one of uh, Bellator's most successful fighters, Michael Chandler, Absolutely. who will return to action one week from tonight in Japan. You know, well, one of the things we talk about is confidence, confidence in a fighter. When you're training with those kind of guys every day and you're hanging with them, it gives you confidence as a fighter. I can, I can go with anybody. There's a the sweep. sweep by Dung, and Dung immediately now on the attack, kneeing Zane, but Zane whipping Dung back to the mat. And there we looked at Dung doing exactly what we're talking about with Zane, being a little bit overzealous, being a little bit, you know, crazy in, don't worry about the moment, take your time, you know, I'm rushing it, I'm gonna go try to finish him, didn't work out for him. 
Don told us that following his last victory, the biggest lesson he took away was that the, it's always best to challenge himself. Not again. And here he's in facing the challenge of Zack Zane. Very smart move by Duns. He started to get out, left his head out there. Quickly, Zane went for that guillotine. I know I said, nope, I'm gonna go back to my guard. I'm not gonna give it to you. After flying out to Florida for a camp in the middle of October, Dunn returned to Hawaii 10 days ago. He says there's no better feeling than being able to fight at home in front of family and friends, but he's in tough here. The can opener attempt by Zach Zane. Talk about old school. Well, it is old school. It will open the guard, and it did. But once that guard's open, you got to think about where you're going to move from that point. You're looking forward to the Smashing Machine Mark Kerr uh, cinematic film that the Rock is putting together? You know what? A little can opener up. Someone, someone I had a lot of respect for. He's a good man. Zane and Dung hoping to look good here. In the opener, a lot of hype coming into this fight in this battle of Islanders as both of them giving each other mutual respect. They pass across in the region, but fighting for the first time here. And Zane coming in as the top rated Hawaiian featherweight and lightweight. And Dung would love to have that credit, that title at 155 at least. That's exactly what he's looking for. Oh, but not a great start for Nainoa Dung. Zach Zane controlling from top position. Dung receiving words of encouragement from three-time NCAA wrestling champ Greg Jones. And to Zach Zane. Getting Don't concede. Words of encouragement. A good start for Zane. And a learning experience for Nainoa Dung in the opening five minutes as we await the start of a round number two. And at the bell, I'll ask Big John to give me his unofficial scorecard right, and the reasons for it. No doubt about it. We give that round 10-9 to Zach Zane. He was the one that ended up in the top position, landed the better strikes, better grappling overall. He gets a 10-9. Adjustments that Dung needs to make in order to avoid the similar predicament he had in the opening five minutes as that left kick was blocked by Dung. I think Nainona came out trying to be very relaxed in this, trying to take his time, and Zach pushed the pace on him. He needs to, he needs to mirror that oh. or match it. Defense on the takedown by Dung. As Zane looking to take it back to the mat, changing levels, looking to run the pipe with a single, changes into the waist lock, now has Dunn on his back, so Zane very active with his pressure and takedowns. Zach Zane has got the right game plan. He's saying, I've, I've watched you, kid. I know exactly where you're good, and you're good on your feet, so why do I want to trade with you on the feet when I think I am better on the ground? Zane has trained in Kung Fu, Taekwondo, Actually started Taekwondo when he was seven until 12. Then he got into jiu-jitsu when he was 16. Hasn't stopped since. Now a brown belt in BJJ. In fact, he and Bellator MMA matchmaker Rich Chow, they got their brown belts on the same day. Exactly. That kind of step up, it means a lot to you. As oh, a, wow. Not only as a fighter, as a martial artist. And Zane just all over dung like a weighted blanket, but far from Comforting for I know a Doug. Right now, I know a Doug needs to let go of the head, start to fish for that underhook on with his left arm. That underhook is going to help get out of position. Having the hand over the head will control posture, but it's not going to help him getting out. Don told us that he felt he was going to be too strong, too fast, and too hungry. Thus far, unable to prove that against the the older Zach Zane, who now has the. Head and arm here in the half guard. Needs to improve position if he would like to get proper leverage, John. Well, he's in that half guard and he's got his head high. He did, that posture is, now that posture is where you can start to bring down damaging shots. This is the 23rd professional fight of Zach Zane's career. A huge edge in experience. I'll be there, Zach. Midway point of the round and the fight. Being fought at 155 pounds. Dung giving up his back again. They 
Dung is in a position. You're seeing that Zach Zane has crossed those legs, coming back into a mouth position. Wow! Down. Back towards. What nice, a nice job by Naimoa Dung. Dung. Great job of not conceding the position, not giving in it. Oh. And now an Omoplata attempt by Zane, He's a reversal a by Dung, and Dung now in a chance to get top in a position, but well played by Zach Zane. What a scramble! Beautiful transitions by both fighters on the ground. Right now, Nainona Dunn needs to say, okay, you just did that, I've taken my breath, now get it going again. Start to go with that same sweep that you've used time after time that Zach has showed he does not know how to stop. Zane never likes leaving it to the judge's hands. He's been doing this for 10 years. He says he didn't have an easy path to get here, had to work for everything, but that's what made him who he is, and he would love to record the victory under the bright lights of Bellator MMA, making his debut here for the organization and doing well against, I know what Dung has done again, looking for the sweep. Dung needs to, when, when he gets that sweep, he needs to keep that arm extended so Zach cannot jump right back at him. He's pulling that arm once he pushes. He needs to keep that extended and move his body away from Zach Zane to get himself into a standing position. Dung from the generation of fighters who start literally when almost out of the womb. We talked about training MMA at four, had his first amateur kickboxing match at six. Amateur boxing record, pancreation record, but all for not right now has to find a way to make it work. Referee looking for more action. 30 seconds remaining in the second stanza. One of the things when you get to Hawaii, it's that it's just that statement of just scrap bra. <laughs> and I'm really impressed because that is the mindset of Zach Zane all the time. And he is showing that he is becoming very mature and saying, I know where I need to put this fight so I can get this win. Yeah, Zane looking for an extra special Christmas for his two daughters, Eliana and well, his one daughter and son, Jet, but now Zane looking for the finish in the dying stages of round two. He's not going to get it with that. Hit that creep. Here was the scramble. Beautiful positioning by Zach. He gets a little high. Nainona turns him over, brings the legs up, looking to, towards a triangle, ends up bringing it down to Anuma Plata, and he has control at that point. Nainona grabs over, tries to get too high, and that's when Zach swings him back over, gets on top. Here's the same scramble at the end. You see him going for the guillotine, tries to turn him over and hold on to it. Nainona does a good job, controls the hands. There's no way he's going to get it with the position he has and just squirms his way back out. Great transitions by both men. Round number three is Nainoa Dung in the red gloves and Zach Zane in the blue gloves continue to battle at 155. Zach Zane has utilized his takedown advantages. There's been a little drama in striking exchanges, but Dung, who has gotten into a lot of street fights growing up in Hawaii, might have to turn this into one if he wants to get the victory. He definitely does. Zach Zane just landed a beautiful right hook to actually touch. Dumb right on the chin, but the thing about Nainona is he has the power to end this with just one blow. Zane out of the southpaw stance, front kick flicked into the direction of Zane as they're using feints, trying to ghost each other, trying to get the other to commit, and their counter right hand by Zane bounced off the shoulder of Dunn. Dunk has, Dung has to realize he's behind the proverbial eight ball, and they're trying to double up with the jab, but one minute already elapsed during the final frame. Well, there is no doubt he is behind in this fight. He's gonna have to press at moments. Now, that doesn't mean you have to press the entire time, but you've got to start to say, I've got to go for it. I gotta open up, and I gotta take a chance. And for Zach Zane, the victory is the most important thing, but he, he says that he would love to keep his streak of finishes 
in victories going. He's 13 and nine, but all 13 victories have come via knockout or submission. Vicious body kick by Dung, and there is Zayn looking for the ankle pick as he tasted the power of Dung. Exactly, that kick hurt. You could see it. And Dung Dung going going the for table. That Mounted guillotine. Our man Dung looking for the dramatic come from behind victory. He's just trying to get a little space in here right now, Moro. He's okay. I know that he needs to utilize his legs. If he can utilize his legs, he can create more pressure. Oh, and Dung, smart to not continuing, expending unnecessary energy, has Zane's back, looking to fish for the choke, softening up Zane a bit. Zane trying desperately to create separation. Beautiful movement by both men. Zach trying to get the escape. I know they're just riding with it. And Zane now sweeping Dung. And the knowledgeable crowd here in Hawaii showing their appro approbation for both Zane and Dung. Mentally, that's just crushing for Nainoa Dung. He knew he had a great position, started to lose it. And when you feel that you're starting to lose a position, you need to say, I'll let go of that, let me get to just what's next. Dunn's mental fortitude's facing its toughest test in the embryonic stages of his career. We have seen him stay calm, stay mature, belying his 20 years of age. But again, the new age mixed martial artist. He's been at this for 16 years already. He's been at fighting. And the real question with I know it was, we knew he's got an oh, outstanding stand-up game. And His he has to put that outstanding stand-up game to work here. Oh, good thing. He's got a minute 40 left. High drama in Honolulu in the third round. According to Big John's scorecard, Zane up 2-0. But Dunk doing his best to try to create the comeback victory. You can see that Zach Zane's arms are heavy. He's having a problem right now. And Zane looking at the clock, eating a body kick by Dung, and Dung looking for that arm and guillotine. Zane just trying to keep Dung on his back, unable to do so. Two big body kicks have absolutely taken the gas tank out of Zach Zane. Dung needs to separate right now. He should not stay in this position. Under a minute left in the fight, and the scramble continues. Got that leg up, start to move your leg out from between, into the triangle. And Zane escapes in this cross side position now into north south. And this is the exact reason I said I know Dunn needed to get away from that position. And Dunn remaining on his back, trying to again look for the sweep half butterfly guard. 30 seconds left in the fight. Zane looking to ride it out from top position trying to secure his hard-fought victory in his Bellator MMA debut, while Dung is looking for late fight, drama, and heroics. This is where you see one fighter trying to finish the fight, and one fighter trying to hold on to what he has. And it looks like Zack Zane is going to hold on, but what a third round of action here in Hawaii. Zane came in as the top-rated fighter here on the islands at 145 and 155, but it was Nainoa Dung coming in with the headlines, the buzz, the hype, Big John. He did have the buzz and the hype because he's so young, and you can see how good he is. But an outstanding job by Zach Zane. Watch the body kick. Third round here. That hurt. You could see right away. That had an impact on Zach Zane in the third round. You saw Nainona Dunk trying to go to positions to get the finish. He knew he needed it. And Zach Zane just working himself out of those positions, trying to survive the round. Oh, step up knee rattling Zane momentarily, but was able to recover quickly. This was the second body kick. He took his eyes off him. Dunk moves in. Beautiful kick to the body. Goes for the guillotine. You see Zane giving position up to try to loosen it. Just an awesome fight by two guys going after it. Zach Zane's 23rd professional fight is Bellator debut. Just the fourth fight 
of Nainoa Dung's career, his third here in Bellator MMA. Is Dung about to taste defeat for the first time? We are about to find out. Your official or unofficial score by the yeah. entire fight? Unofficially, I have the fight at 29-28 for Zach Zane. He took the first two rounds, and I know it came back. Took that third round, no doubt. Not enough for a 10-8. A loss always stings, but it can be a valuable learning experience, especially at an early stage of a fighter's career. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance inside the Peloton cage, we'll go to your three judges. All three judges at cage side, Mike Onzuka, Dana Furuta, and Sal Damato. All three have it exactly the same, 29 to 28. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision, God's warrior, Zach Zane. And since he is taught tonight, Zach Zane, Pulls off the victory, handing Nainoa Dung his first loss as Zane is victorious for his first fight in Bellator. Let's go to Big John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with God's Warrior, Zach Zane. That was an outstanding fight. We talk about fight IQ. Knowing coming in how good Nainona Dung was on his feet. You went right away into taking him down at a ground game. Yes, sir. You know, about uh, two weeks ago, I got my brown belt in jiu-jitsu over at Maui Jiu-Jitsu in Maui, and I really believe in jiu-jitsu and wrestling for MMA, you know, and I just told Nainona Dung, man, you're a good kid, you're a good opponent. You got, you got a bright future, bright, bright future. I had to have a game plan against you, it was all respect. Everybody who loves Nainona Dung and believes in him, I, I, I'm so grateful for all you all. Keep believing in him and keep loving him. He's got a bright future, everyone. He does have a bright future, and in the third round, he hit you with two body kicks. How hurt were you? Man, I've been working my body, you know, because I know he's got hard kicks. He hit me hard, but I kind of expected and I flexed, you know, so I kind of I ate it, but like I said, the kid's got so much talent. God bless him. Who knows how long I'm gonna be here, but Bellator, from the bottom of my heart, please sign me. Next year's roster, I'll fight anybody respectively and humbly, and I will represent Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the man, God's warrior, Zach Zane.